welcome back. I'm Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to design this cake topper in Design Space. If you're wondering why I sound like this, I'm sick but I still wanted to record this audio for this video and get it out to you guys so that I can challenge you to make your own cake topper in Design Space. I already selected the images I'm going to use. These are from Design Space. Every single element is from Design Space. If you look over to the left hand side where it says images, you can type in a theme or just scroll until you find the ones you like. For this cake topper, I want my cupcake to be my main focus. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it over, center it and also bring over the candle. In my previous video, I showed you how I added LED light to the flame of this candle. And this is what the original image looks like. Normally, I would contour the flame, but since it doesn't give me that option, I'm going to grab a shape, a teardrop or a raindrop shape, and I'm going to hover over the flame, and I'm going to weld them together. What this is going to do is it's going to uh, get rid of that cutout and make it one solid shape. So again, I'm going to grab the shape and the flame, and I'm going to center the shape a little just to hide the cutout. I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom right to combine, and then I'm going to select Weld. If you're wondering what Unite is, Unite is the same thing as Weld, it's just temporary. So for example, if you didn't want to make it permanent Weld and cover the hole completely, maybe you're testing out the file, you can select Unite. With Weld, you can't go back and change it. It's on there, it's welded. With Unite, you can always unweld it, ununite it, and then you'll have your original design. Now I'm going to put this cake topper together. I'm going to play around with the sizing and start piecing everything together. The purpose of this video is just to show you how I select a few images in design space and how I piece them together to create a cake topper. This video is really intended for me to just challenge you guys to select a few images in design space. You don't need to pay for a bunch of SVGs or PNGs. Just use what you have, the resources that you have, and design space is a great place to start. Sometimes the images that I select don't work out and I'll go looking for another one. Um, or, for example, this one, Happy Birthday Bestie. I really like the font, but I did not want it to say Bestie and I didn't want the hearts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Contour, which is on the bottom right. I'm going to select the word Bestie to hide that word. And then also I'm going to select the little shapes inside the word. If you look on the actual screen, the big screen, um, it goes from a darker gray to a lighter gray. Once it's at an, a lighter gray, that means you've hid that shape or that word. And so if you look on our canvas, the word bestie already disappeared. So now I'm going to go ahead and select the hearts and hide those as well. You can also scroll the right hand side, the bar and select the shape. You don't need to do it on the actual screen. You can do it on the sidebar. Sometimes that doesn't work out for me. I'll just go in and like select each one on the actual screen, but sometimes it's easier to select on the bar. Going back to the balloons, I'm going to create a little offset on the balloon so it's one shape instead of like individual balloons. And I'm gonna go and contour out each balloon. If you see the little slices on the balloons, I'm gonna contour that out so that it's just one solid piece. At this point, I decided that I'm also going to flatten my balloons because I don't want to cut each individual color. So I changed my offset to a white and I'm going to select the offset and the balloons and I'm going to go down to the bottom right and select flatten. This changed it from a cut file to print then cut. So I'm going to print it on my printer and cut it with my Cricut. But also that offset, the white offset that I created is very helpful because if you see the balloons, there's the little slices on it. If I wouldn't have created that offset, when I go to cut it on my Cricut, it's going to cut those little slices individually. And I don't want that. I just want one solid piece. 
Now for the happy birthday, I am going to resize the happy birthday to fit on my cupcake. So I'm going to go up to the top part of my screen and you'll see the little lock sign. Unlock it and then now you'll be able to stretch it as much as you can or bring it in to fit on top of the cupcake. As I'm piecing the cake topper together, I'm also trying to envision the look of the cake topper once I'm piecing it together. So here's where I'm going to create offsets to create layers. So to give it that 3D look and give it more of a dimension. So for happy birthday, I want it to pop a little more on my cake topper. So I'm going to create about two. Sometimes I, I go to three offsets and I'm going to change each color. If you're wondering what size offsets I use, I typically stay around the 0 0.65, 0 0.75, 85 sometimes. I don't really go much larger than that, but you can do whatever you want and just play with the sizing and see what type of look it is that you want to achieve. Now that we have the placement and our cake topper pretty much put together, I'm going to highlight the entire cake topper and utilize my offset feature and I'm going to create a couple of layers. Again, I typically do two to three. I think for this one I did three layers and I'm going to change the color to each layer. I hope you're enjoying this video and are finding it helpful. I did start a how-to series. This is video number three. And I really am enjoying showing you how to achieve whatever it is that you are struggling with. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to add it to my list. And hopefully you'll see it in one of my next videos. This is the final look in design space. And now I'm going to show you how I assemble this cake topper. I will be sure to link the products that I'm using in this video in the description box below. And if you would like to make this exact same cake topper, I will have the file available for you in my design space profile. I will provide the link in the description box below. If you have Cricut access, you can go straight into customizing the file or just cut it as is. But if you don't have Cricut access, but you do have Cricut design space, you can still make the cake topper it may charge you a small fee depending on which element has a fee. It'll have you go to checkout before you begin cutting your cake topper. In this video, I did not include how I added the LED light, but if you'd like to take a look at that video, I will link it in the description below. This concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Before you head out, please be sure to like this video, comment any questions you have down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. As always, I appreciate the support and I'll see you in the next one.